All right, down to three of our top four teams for our first game of the day. Navi still four up, EU three, Twisted Minds three, but Navi and United have a bit more work to do currently as Twisted Mind begins to fan out along that hillside. They're going to take their space. They're going to, you know, just make sure that nobody's in range to get grenaded from one single grenade. It's going to take work to clear them out, and you can see the smokes have to come through for Navi. So you can see they're running back and forth, grabbing them, picking them up, grabbing whatever extra utility, whatever extra ammo they can, and then it is time to make their move. It's like they're trying to prep some type of vehicle fortification in front of them, and it's about the only option that they've got. Vehicles now are just going to go ahead and start to roll out. People should hear that engine shot's going to start coming out from Twisted Minds. Going to try to roll into it. Some shots do come out. Spyro's going to oh. go down, and whoa! Navi just runs right into this one. He is out inside the blue, though. It's great. It's no problem. But wow! Twisted Minds gets eliminated. That was an insane push by Navi. E United now turns back in. They're trying to move in, but it's going to be one member from a Navi that was left behind. Mel still alive, but he's the only one. E United may be able to take this. Alia has a knock here. Excuse me, they're too alive for Navi. Alia on the angle, still held back, and he has found a big knock. Now they should be able to get Uba up and running. Example out there as well. So even though they went out into the blue, took some knocks that way. Ooh, kickstart. That is nasty right at the feet of Alia. Finally closing down Alia's positioning because E United wanted to pounce, leaving that one behind shut down anything that E United was trying to do. And that gives a enough time for Navi to try to reset, get into reposition, and now with three, looking back into E United's two. Those are championship moves from Navi right there to know that you need to take the top team down in this circle to have any chance of winning the event. And they go for it and they make it work. That's what you want to see. Grenades now start to impact on top of Navi. Kickstart dodging a couple different mollies. Ooh. He might have stepped into one there. I'm not sure. No, he's still good. Snaker's now going to let loose with some grenades of his own. They're coming up short. Navi has control of the center right now, and United knows that. They have to push this hillside. Throwables now starting to come out. Navi is reading a blue coming in. Peak's going to come up. Uba does connect onto it at the exact same time as the sample. Kickstart tries to go for a play, but no! Navi's miracle sin gives them the victory. Welcome back, Uba. Welcome back to BGC. This guy has been great all of that. Navi has been fragging out a little quiet the last couple days, but they're back, baby. That was insane. My mind broke watching that. That was just ridiculous aim. They realized what they needed to do, even sending one of their players just out. They were like, we just got to gun it, hit the shots, and we have to know that we're going to hit that blue, but that's fine. We just, As long as we can get a couple of knocks, we can try to mop it up. And like I said, it's a championship move. I mean, that is just beautiful, knowing the situation, no 